On the way to Fiji, we sail our 10,000th mile with Jay Daka. Oh, Just before the last islands of the Harp Ice, we start the celebration. Und dieser auf was hast du angestoßen? Das ist meine. Yes. It's wonderful sailing on a beam. The water is calm and we make good progress. In addition to the great sailing, this morning we got the Mahi Mahi. Und Wir sind bereit für den Morgen, nachdem wir einen kleinen Mahi Mahi ausgenommen haben. With around 12 knots wind, 7 knots speed and no waves, it's really convenient to sail. Naja, wirklich zu gemütlich kann es ja nicht sein. Gell, Isa? Oh, The hours pass and hardly anything changes. The wind picks up every now and then, but stays at around 12 knots. So we cruise and cruise and cruise and Fiji gets closer and closer. We enjoy the smooth ride in Jedaka. A great sunset adds to the smooth sailing. The wind picks up a little bit in the evening, but then the wind dies during the night. We make it through the large group of eastern Fiji, but the wind gradually diminishes. So in the morning, we are down to one, two knots. Passing this island took us two, three hours. So we need a distraction. A clean drink. Kokosnuss, frische Aufwand im Engine Room. We are more or less stuck. In the middle of Fiji. Jedaka is rolling back and forth, making little progress. We get the most wind from the moving mast. Luckily, the 
water is still quiet. So we go dead downwind with the headsail pulled out. The situation doesn't really change during the day. So we enjoy another beautiful sunset. We are still about 24 hours away from Lebuka. In the early morning the next day, the wind picks up again. However, we have to go really slow to arrive in daylight the next day. The weather is changing from blue sky to rain. And as we get closer to the Vuka, more islands appear and more sailors. It's getting difficult to spot the dangerous reefs. We are super glad the charts got more accurate the past few years. So we make it safely into Lebuka, through another pass and into the anchorage.